Joshua's Pride. Up to the bend, they race Sadurka behind them about sixth. On the corner, they race Magic Music from Sports and going up Miss Penny Money on the outside. A length and a half further backs and Chris off Sadurka and Dandy Kidd. It's Magic Music tackled by Miss Penny Money at the 200 metre mark and she lets down Miss Penny Money and hits the front now from Magic Music. Dandy Kidd getting a late run through on the inside. Miss Penny Money in front. Dandy Kidd after it. Miss Penny Money, Dandy Kidd. Dandy Kidd finishing at a great rate and Dandy Kidd. Dandy Kidd has won at a half length, Miss Penny Money, two away, third either Joshua's Pridus and Chrisoff. From out of the name, followed for the back by Sports. Then Zahiro Mastic back behind those Sadurka with Geese Card Londolozzi. Magic Music has led them up to run last. Number five, Dandy Kid, fourteen dollars even and three dollars eighty. Number ten, Miss Penny Money, a dollar eighty. Photo for third, three St. Christoph, four thirty. Or number eight, Joshua's Pride at two ninety. Number five, Dandy Kid. And to return on Super Tab, fourteen fifty and four thirty. Number ten, Miss Penny Money to pay one dollar eighty, and those for third, three St Chris off at four thirty or eight. Joshua's Pride two fifty. Penny Money, who's reached the lead number ten of the two hundred metre mark, and the judge calling on the photo for third placing. Well, he's made the graduation today, Dandy Kid. Stepping to wait for eights for the first time after the favourite swept to the front, Miss Penny Money. She started to get tired and Dandy Kid railed up on the inside. Correct way to the coast, one, five, two. Third, we've got Joshua's Pride, Orson Chrisoff in a photo for third. Pretty tight between those two. Numbers are... This time, little Lucifer threw the head up in the air when the stalls opened, missed it noticeably. And All Lion jumped very quickly, so too did Kid Lad, who's going to lead All Lion. Federal agent in third position, the fourth flickering fire, one length to get going and four lengths to little Lucifer. Kid Lad arrives at the 800 marker, leading about three quarters of a length on All Lion, sitting on the inside of the leader. In the third position, about a length and three quarters away, get going from Federal agent. A length to flickering fire and two lengths to little Lucifer. This is the order, 550 left to gallop and Kid Lad a length and a half now as the rider gives him a bit more rein second all lion federal agent third get going locked away followed by flickering fire and little Lucifer is last as they round the bend and here Kid Lad the outside is just the leader all lion almost joining him a length and a half to get going off the fence on his outside federal agent Brown's gone for the whip on federal agent as they come past the 200 it's all lion the leader from get going federal agent and then Kid Lad all lion still in front get going and federal agent try to pick Pick up All Lion. All Lion is still in front, nearing the line. He'll win. All Lion narrowly, I'd say, from Get Going and Federal Agent, followed home on the inside by Little Lucifer. Second last was Kidlat at Absolute was Flickering Fire. Number four there, All Lion to return 570 and 250. Five Get Going, $1.80 and two Federal Agent, no third dividend. Back to Ian in just a moment. Updating that market for the next race, 5 Tassie, 1 Mondi, 5 10, 120 in favourite, 2 Prince Zachary, 8 32, 70, 3 True Rhythm, 5 82, 50, 4 All Stages, 81, 22, 5 Sharpest, 5 42, 20, 6 Maitre de Tamar, 14, 2 50, 7 Wilburn, 17, 6 8, another inch, 40 and 10, 9 Yarra Sud, 6 10, 3 even, 10 out, 11 Deadwood, 15 and 6, 12 Bon Astray, 20 and 6 and 13 Lord Chance, 16, 3 90, 4,800 in the pool. And the selections there, race number five at Elwick, 156. On gilding by Ravocious from Heavenly Manor. And that's three winners to little Mitch Newman this afternoon. Mitch rode Miss Doopsie in the second, Bull Zaffer in the third. And now All Lion in race five to beat number five, Get Going, who's paid 150. No third for number two, Federal Agents. The Quinella, $7, exact a 13.90 and the trifecta, $30.00 and 20 cents. Time for the race was 103.95. There's a class record. Well, another very nippy performance here at Warwick Farm, and I reiterate what I've said over recent weeks. This track has just stood up absolutely magnificently to the workload that it's carried, and here is yet another case in point and testimony of that fact. A class record of 103.95 to number four All Lion having its 14th start for its sixth win, scoring nicely by a slender margin that will be posted in just a moment. All right, uh, there's uh, Ronnie Quinton down there uh, having a chat to uh, Joan Pracy, the owner of All Lion and uh, here are the margins. A head by half a head and a good finish ahead a half a head sectional shortly. I thought the
Apples back there racing. He knuckled after the jump away, Happy Forest. And Rancho Spark, Delirious and Harley away quickly. Uh, pushing up on the inside axis is showing speed. Happy Forest has picked up good speed on the outside and going up to join the front liners. When they settle into stride now on the outside, Happy Forest. Just led pick up line. He pushed up on the inside, followed by Harley. Rancho Spark further back in the race. And they've got about four or five lengths in front from Crystal Academy, El Cabello, Lambada Boy. Well back in the race, Delirious, followed by Gold Caram. And last Last of all is Axis. The leading group here are Happy Forest from Rancho Spark. Harley third. Pick up line fourth. And they've broken about four lengths. El Cabello. Crystal Academy. Two further back. Delirious. Lambada Boy. Gold Caram. And last of all Axis on the turn. And it's Happy Forest from Rancho Spark. A length and a half. Harley followed by pick up line. Crystal Academy. They've gone hard. Further out is El Cabello and Delirious. In the straight now. Rancho Spark. Getting up to Happy Forest. From pick up line. Pushing back in the middle from Harley. Then Delirious down the outside. Out in the centre. Rancho Spark in front, Delirious coming down the middle with a run, but ducking in, Rancho Spark in front, Delirious trying to pick it back, he's coming at Rancho Spark, Delirious, Rancho Spark, they hit it, nothing in this, Delirious, Rancho Spark, pick up line third, followed by Lombarda Boy, then further out on the track, Axis, followed by Crystal Academy, further back then El Cabello, followed by Harley, well back in the race, Gold Caram, and after leading up, Happy Forest near the tail. Number two, Rancho Spark, $6.80 for the win, $2.30 for the place. Number one, Delirious, $5.50, two even for third three. Pick up line, $2.40. On the super tab there, number one, Delirious, $6.210 or two, Rancho Spark, $6.50, $2.30 with three pick up line, $2.10. One has got it, Melbourne, four one six Queen Bin, four one and six. Length by length and a quarter, fifty nine sixty nine. the time, last six hundred thirty five seventy five. dollars 75 Two a second. Rancho Spark and third number three. And that's pick up line one, two and three. One, two, three. Well, he, uh, he looked good going out. He got a long way back, those leaders. Gee, they went pretty quickly, that uh, group, that quartet up in front. Right at the barrier, Newcastle. Caulfield, one, two and three. One, Delirious, 5.50 the win. Two dollars the place. Two, Rancho Spark, 2.30. Three, pick up line third, 2.40. Quinella, 1370, exacta 3420, 123 trifecta, $97.60. The extra double, 5 and 1, Dandy Kid and Delirious is 77.80. Special dividend, 1150 with a scratching of number 4. And there's correct weight at the Gold Coast on 3, 1 and 2. Slight delay with. They're off this time, Zariz missed it, about three quarters of a length, and Kutamutu and Fawadi flew out with Happy Giggle at eight eights. Continuum, Zariz picking up lost territory, and Trelop is right up there. Kai Perez will land that far away as they sort themselves out, and Holy Honey going quickly. Dynamic Love has got two behind her, and they are now Kai Pera and Preserve Zariz. Shoots to the lead, 600 to run by a length and a half. Now Holy Honey followed closely on the inside by Trelop and Kutamutu, and then eight eights off the track. Next is Fawadi and Fawadi. Further away is Happy Giggle. Dynamic Love over on the inside. A length and a half further back is Continuum. Then Preserve. And Kai Perez drop right out of the hunt. Zariz first for home in the San Domenico. He's a length and a half on Kutamutu. Followed by Dynamic Love, Happy Giggle and Fawadi. But it's Zariz. 150 to go. Look at that acceleration. Zariz put two lengths on Dynamic Love. Followed by Kutamutu. Zariz. Oh, he's something special. Zariz, a brilliant winner in the San Domenico. Dynamic Love second. Kutamutu. Two third, then Fawadi followed by Continuum eight eight preserve Happy Giggle Holy Honey followed by Tree Lopper and Absolute was Kai Pera outstanding win. He was restless in the gates when they opened. He probably missed it a half three quarters of a length. He's got blistering early speed. He shot through to lead and then the acceleration he displayed at the two fifty and he is something special obviously. Number four Zariz, written by Corey Brown, wins the San Domenico Stakes. And wasn't it a happy Corey raising his uh, right hand to salute the crowd as the line was reached on the Gerald Ryan train cult. 491, Zariz C. Brown first. Number nine, Dynamic Love, Glenn Collis second. And number one, Kutamutu, Kevin Moses third. Three dollars, a dollar seventy in New South Wales, the winner. Dollar seventy second, two forty for third. 
Fawadi, number seven, ran fourth, and number eight was fifth, Preserved. Nice run, Preserved, too. The Exotics, the Quinella, was 690. Exacta, 1270. Trifecta, $60.30. I think we've got a very nice horse here in Zariz, a brown colt, a three year old by Mukadama from Divine Dash, raced by IF and Mrs. LS Ford, JJ and Mrs. DJ Walsh, and A and Mrs. S. Stein, trained for them by Gerald Ryan, bred by Mr. Peter Moran, ridden by Corey Brown, who replaced the indisposed Brian York. The time will be of interest, not showing at the moment. Dynamic Love second. She was gallant in defeat. A brave warrior filly, Bay in colour, out of Huntington Girl, John Wallace from the Gold Coast, Glenn Collis, and Kutamutu third from a wide gate by Dane Wynn from Kishel, Jack Denham, Kevin Motus. Oh yeah, he's good. You've heard uh, the race, many of you have watched it, and uh, well, he's done it at uh, the right end after having had a setback at the start. Here are the totes. Ding, ding, ding. Number four, number four, the winner, Zariz, $3, $1.70. Number nine, Dynamic Love, so punters on uh, the mark there, $1.70. Number one, Kutamutu, $2.40. Quinella, $6.90, Exacta, $12.70. The Trifecta, $60, $60.30. We're awaiting the margins, along with the yeah, time and sectional details, and we'll have those shortly on the San Domenico, won brilliantly by Zariz. I just might comment, too, those colours of the... Stalls back racing. Northeast Sheila not brilliant away from the outside. The other mares have come away in a pretty good line here. Matter High Miss bounce quickly. The grey Deadwood stage going up to head it off from Gold Chains there from the outside. Chalet and me back nearer the inside, followed by River Crossing going forward. Then Natural Tycoon further back, followed Gold Jingle Bells, Western Dove Ruralism. Further back in the race then came Pattern of Bells, followed by Pia Vonick Chow Baby, who's well back in the race with Lady Camelot. And last of all is Northeast Sheila. Down the side they race on the inside Deadwood stage and goal change. A length and a half river crossing and they're followed by Chalet and me. Then Manor High Miss and further back in the race Natural Tycoon Western Dove. Then Jingle Bells on the turn from Ruralism followed by Follow Gold and Pia Vonick. On the turn they race Deadwood stage Chalet and me. River crossing coming at them pretty quickly is moving up. Manor High Miss out wider is starting to wind up quickly. River crossing has got to the front. Manor High Miss going to it and Chalet and me back on the inside. Chalet and me. Manor High Miss river crossing. Manor High Miss put its head in front from Chalet and me. Three in a row for Manor High Miss. She comes on to win by a half length on the line to River Crossing. Chalet and me third. Then Ruralism Pia Vonick. Further back was Northeast Sheila Natural Tycoon. At the head of the others then came Western Dove Jingle Bells Pattern of Bells. Further back then Follow Gold followed by Chow Baby. Well back Gold Chains Lady Camelot and Deadwood Stage near the tail. Number seven Manor High Miss 12.40 and 3.80. Two River Crossing at $2.10. 12 Chalet and me at 7.60. Correct weight Queen Bee in the previous seven. Manor High Miss there at uh, Caulfield to return on the Super Tab. So his final figures come up on the board. Wind dividend 12.60 to place 3.82. River Crossing to return at $1.70 and 12 for third. Chalet a miss $10.10. The National Racing Service, Triple SFM, New South Wales dividends in Melbourne. 12.40, 3.80, two River Crossing, 2.10. 12 Chalet a miss third, 7.60. The Quinella, 33.20. Exacta, $81.20. 11, John Wall. Racing. Another lovely start. The favourite is the early leader, Mastery, from Count Scenario. Not as far away as Catusa, followed by Bargain for the inside. Wider out next is Galliano as they settle and pass the 1400. Herbal caught a bit wide and then Profits kiss our cracker. T.O. Brave Boy second last and Super Revena drops to the rear. Mastery in front at the end of 400 going by the 1200 mark at a length and a half clear on Catusa. Third count scenario, Galliano wide out fourth and fifth defence bargain. Two lengths and a Herbal, followed by our cracker. T.O. Brave Boy Profits kiss and a couple further away Super Revena. It's Mastery in front as they sweep out of the back and make the run to the side of the Warwick Farm course and approach the 850. Mastery out three quarters of a length on Katusa and a couple to count scenario and neck back the inside bargain then T.O. Brave Boy. Galliano followed by our cracker Herbal.
Noble, second last in the field is Super Revena, and Prophet's Kiss drops to the rear with 650 ahead of them, and Mastery, three quarters, Katusa, two count scenario, followed by T.O. Brave Boy, deeper out, bargain over on the fence, and then comes Herbal, die riding hard on Galliano, then our Cracker, and further away, Super Revena and Prophet's Kiss. Mastery in front narrowly, though, and as they come to the corner, Mastery a half length on Katusa, wider T.O. Brave Boy, count scenario and bargain looking for runs, and Herbal the deepest on the now Cracker, straightening up now. Mastery, Beedman's had to go for the whip. They got a bit tight, Mastery and Katusa, but Mastery's plogging uh, on pretty well. Count Scenario gets the run on the now Cracker. Mastery, but Katusa's coming at him the outside. Mastery and Katusa. Mastery, Katusa, dead heat. Mastery and Katusa, ripper. Third out Cracker. Followed home by Count Scenario and then Galliano, Prophet's Kiss, followed up by on the outside Super Revener. T.O. Brave Boy Bargain and Herbal finished at the rear. Photo there, three Mastery, three even 140, or 10 Katusa, 58, 10 and 880. Number seven, third hour Cracker at 550. Cheltenham Race 7, 1 Odysseus, 15, 40, 490. Two Lazing About, 17 and 5, three Border Time, 360, 150. Four Mr. Selby, 660, 260. Five Mustard Air, 570, 130. Six Moe Now, 6 even 190. Seven You Betcha, 16, 240. Eight Noisy Prospect, 50 and 14. Nine Cotton Hole, 18 and 5. Ten Valasha, 140 and 46. Eleven Gold Desiderio, 25 and 8. Favourite three, Border Time, 360, 150. Tips five Mustard Air from three and seven. Late Mail, six Moe Now for the seventh event at Cheltenham. That'll be followed by the last event from Coinbian. And number one there is Cool McCool, 10, 10, 440. Two Warsaw Concerto, 420 and 2 even. Three Bogong Hill, 16 and 4. Four Boulders Love, 25 and 6. Three The Winner Sydney. Five Cherry Vale Less, 35 and 11. Six Ice It Is, 23 and 8. Seven Lucky Mickey, 6 even, 220. Eight Never Say Red, 10, 20, 480. Nine Pine View Star, 280 and 87. Ten Select Edition, 331 even. Eleven True Miss, 950, 330. Favourite 10, Select Edition, 331 even, tips 3, Bogong Hill from 2 and 1 for the last at Queanbeyan. 310, 7, Sydney, let's go back to Ian. From Symphonetta, a brown gilding of five-year-old, written by Darren Beatman, replacing Brian York, trained by Kylie Gavinlock for Paul Miller, M. Carmody, P. O'Shea, A. Barker, C. Pawsey, John Allen, T. McKeon, C. Bramley and P. R. Nickerson, and mastery in the Harry Lawton colours, winning by enough to swear by in 137.37. Exotics. The Quinella here has paid $60.70, Exactor $100.70, the Trifecta $1,079.20. Waiting on the first four to go up the fourth position for the first four in New South Wales. The four and three daily double, $10.50. And uh, that's a winning double to Darren Beatman as he comes back in those familiar Harry Lawton colours on mastery. Darren winning the first on medicine. Fourth went to number... and running in the final event. Perfect Arc went back at the start, so Peace bounced quickly. Uh, with it is Perfect Paradise in the early point. Multiple Magic just behind them. O'Donnell working up towards the front, followed by Dylan Maximal. Sir Swayze further back in the race when they settle into stride. Perfect Arc is going around the outside, followed by Balter back to the rail. From our heritage and last of all, Happy Star. O'Donnell had the lead coming down the side for Kathy Payne. Three quarters in front now from Dylan. Perfect Arc's worked up on the outside. Thirds apiece, fourth. A length for the back, Perfect Paradise, two to Multiple Magic, is over on the inside, running six, followed by Maximal, two lengths to Boulder, Sir Swayze, and then our Heritage, Happy Star last of all at the 800 metre mark, and the leader is O'Donnell by a length and a half to Dylan, there's a piece on the inside, and Perfect Arc working out wide fourth, Perfect Paradise back in the middle, fifth from Maximal, then Multiple Magic is off the fence, getting up on the inside of it, our Heritage, then Sir Swayze, Happy Star, and Boulder last of all, O'Donnell the leader, well off the fence on the turn, left three quarters, but out about seven wide now from Dylan, who got up on the inside to grab it. O'Donnell's laid off the track. Dylan went through and Zapice got the rails run. Zapice hit the front down on the inside from Dylan. Multiple magic into the clear. Then O'Donnell followed by our heritage. Further back happy stars. Zapice in front of Dylan. O'Donnell out in the middle coming back again with multiple
Baltimore Magic. Zar Peace in front and here's Happy Star. Sir Peace the leader from O'Donnell and Happy Star out wider. Sir Peace in front. Sir Peace has won it. Sir Peace wins at three quarters to maybe Happy Star and O'Donnell. Just behind the multiple Magic and further back in the race then Dylan. A gap then to our heritage followed by Perfect Paradise. Then Balter. Maximal further back then came Sir Swayze. And Perfect Ark is back at the tail. Number one Zar Peace at 5.32.50. Number nine Happy Star $2.20 for third six O'Donnell. One dollar rating at the barrier on super tab number one's a piece 532 30 nine happy star 236 o'donnell at 180 weights right queen bin correct weight queen bin number one the judge calling in the photo for the miners happy star will get second out wide from o'donnell who laid off the track and in the last you'll find the numbers will be one nine and six one nine six they're up in the frame now 196 in the final event for the day. 196. And at the barrier, Newcastle favourite Chief Little Rock at 490 the win, $2 the place, ahead of four Concord. 560, 180 with 10 foils the shadow. 560 and 350. Last from Doombin. The last event from Cheltenham, one meter. Material enough uh, interference for, for us to say that uh, we should. Uh, uh, interfere with the placings and for those reasons we dismiss the objections and the placings will stand. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Mr Brown, can you just wait one minute to yeah, bench, yeah, please? Yeah. Just with Okay, so the protest dismissed, second against first, so you can breathe easy if you're on mastery and uh, Darren smiles. So 3107 they stand at Warwick Farm. Okay, at the Gold Coast, 11 Jordan's taboo, 25 Off of the last, the favourite jumped out pretty well, Dan Defy. Easy style jumped nicely, and so too, getting up towards the leaders, they settled fully into stride by Ruby Sun. And not all that far is Colin the Brave off the leaders, they settled, and the same can be said for Mayo's music at a length and a half further back in the field is in a huddle. Now it's going to be easy style at the end of 350, leading the way. Ben of War in second place, Harker Creek third, and Colin the Brave is going to settle fourth, and about two lengths further back is Baruby Sun. Mayo's music just losing a little bit of ground. Stylish Crown is over on the inside, and then Dan Defy followed by at the head of the others, the South Coast Galloper, and that is Bump and Run. Further away on the field about two lengths to Free Ranger and then comes Curator Storm. Fantastic is well back and the same for Brockoff and back near the tail of the field as they come to the corner. Oh, forget that one, it won't win from there. Coming to the corner at Easy Style in front. From Ben on the outside, coming into second place as they swing Ben of War. Two lengths away, third Mayo's Music followed by Colin the Brave, Dan Defy, Baruby, Santa Harker Creek, Fantastic and Free Ranger. They race down to the 200. Here's Mayo's Music pouncing on Easy Style. Two lengths to Colin the Brave, Baruby Sun, and Dan Defy heads the others, but Mayo's Music is the leader on the inside, Easy Style, but Mayo's Music is going to do it again. Mayo's Music beat Easy Style, I think Dan Defy knows Baruby Sun for third, then Colin the Brave, Fantastic, Free Ranger, Curator Storm, Bump and Run, Ben of War followed in by Inner Huddle, and then came Brockoff, Stardish Crown, never got in the race, Harker Creek was last to complete the course. At Belmont, number nine, surely true, 65-29 even, Six Harkham Lad 3.30, three slide away at 1.50. In Sydney, number three, Mayo's Music 6.52.30, four Easy Style 4.70, two Dan Defy at 1.70. Tates Doom in the last, winner number two, Aggravation, three even the win, 1.50 to place, three second. Ken Connolly, $1.50, 11 third Lord Carrioy, $21.10. Quinella 5.60, Trifecta 342.30. 8 and 2 daily double, $13.10. Scratching 6 and 7, that wraps up the program at Doombin. Goes music, Corey Brown. That's a happy day for Corey. Resumes or returns to Hong Kong on Monday. Mayo's music has won. Number four is second, and that is Easy Style. And number two is third, and that is Dan Defy. 342 on the last, 36190, uh, 66240 the winner. Number four will pay 430, and number two at $1.90. More from me in a moment. Race eight at Cheltenham, one Moo Tiara, 994, 350. Two Indigo Rain, 12, 10, 370. Three Shiny, 5, 21, 90. Four Double Legend, 18 and 4. Five D's Dancer, 4, 92, 10. Six I Ken, 10, 10, 340. Seven Jetway, 8, even 2, 10. Eight Keep Remembering, 38 and 9. Nine All Cheer, 17 and 4. 10 is Jamatra, 860, 360. 
11 Considemus, 24 and 7, 12 Eureka Mine, 84 and 23, scratch 13, 14 Mr. Iceman, 15, 33, 90, scratch 15. Favourite. But Graham is...